Our team has been using Arabian cervical pessary for more than six years on over 150 pregnant women with short cervix. Our colleagues from around the world have been asking for an advice how best to insert and remove the pessary and also how best to scan the cervix with the pessary in situ. We felt that the best way to describe our clinical experience would be to produce this short video demonstrating what we do in our daily clinical practice. The Arabin pessary is a silicon ring with six small holes. There is a small inner circular opening and a larger outer opening. The pessary is flexible and should be squeezed with the dome uppermost for insertion. Lubrication gel is applied to the end of the pessary. The labia are parted and the pessary gently advanced into the vagina aiming for the posterior fornix. To insert the pessary, it should be advanced and released to unfold under the cervix. Without removing the examining hand from the vagina, the fingers are withdrawn slightly and the central portion of the pessary dome is examined. If the cervix is not centrally positioned, then the fingers are used to align the pessary correctly around the cervix. The posterior part of the pessary is then pressed slightly upwards towards the sacrum. When inserting the pessary, it is possible to incorrectly flip the dome of the pessary upside down. The pessary should be removed and replaced correctly. It is also possible to advance the pessary insufficiently into the vagina so that it does not cover the cervix. This should be noted because the cervix would not be palpated within the pessary. The pessary should be removed and replaced correctly. Following the insertion of the pessary, it is normal to see an increase in vaginal discharge. For some women this can be quite heavy or watery in consistency and women should be reassured this is quite normal. This should not be mistaken for infection or ruptured membranes and does not require treatment with antibiotics. If ruptured membranes are confirmed then our practice has been to remove the pessary as soon as possible. The probe is inserted into the vagina at the normal 45 degree angle, aiming for the posterior fornix. The probe tip is then moved superiorly by bringing the examiner's hand downwards. The probe is moved laterally to acquire the optimal view. At the end of the scan, the probe is removed at the 45 degree angle. This shows the manoeuvre within the vagina to obtain a cervical length image from within the pessary. Sometimes it is not possible to cite the probe within the pessary and in this situation an image can be obtained superior to the pessary.
Identify the cervix in the central portion of the dome, then hook the index finger under the pessary anteriorly. Gently bring the pessary over the cervix and remove it from the vagina. When it is not possible to directly insert the finger under the pessary anteriorly, the finger should be inserted between the pessary and cervix posteriorly. The fingers are then rotated anteriorly. The pessary is then removed in the normal way. Alternatively, it is possible to insert the finger between the cervix and pessary posteriorly and bring the pessary over the cervix from this position. If it is hard to access the space between the pessary and cervix, then it can be helpful to push on the cervix and use the thumb to bring the pessary forwards a little. Then insert the finger between the cervix and pessary in the normal way. Pessary removal can be painful if the pessary tugs on the cervix and this should be avoided. When removing the pessary from the introitus, it is useful to compress the pessary with the non-dominant hand until it is completely removed. For a very few women, the cervical tissue becomes so edematous in the pessary that it makes removal very difficult. In this situation, the pessary can be cut along one side using episiotomy scissors. Use one hand to guide the tip of the scissors and protect the tissue. Thank you for watching.